whoops, I did not want two records. Okay. Now I know the original and the second one are um, different in that we didn't provide a fee, a rating, or a, whether it's PVP for the second one. Now the first one we put in complete information. Which one uh, is the right one? Well, that's kind of iffy right now. We don't know where that data came from. So uh, that's a problem, by the way, with uh, using an identity uh, specification for your uh, field names or sorry, identity specification for your ID field, is that you can easily put in duplicate data. So we're going to need to know how to get rid of that data when it's incorrect. For now, we're just going to say the one at game ID 18 is incorrect. So let's delete that here. Uh, delete the gem hunter record at ID 18. Okay. Notice I've provided you with the ID in this question, so we can use that. Let's go delete from game where so the where is how we filter on any of our queries select update or delete and they work the same way so I'm gonna go where game ID equals 18 now before I run this I want to um, just show you a quick thing you can do to make sure that you're correctly um, choosing the right uh, the right records to delete. What you can do is you can go select star from whatever table you're trying to delete from game and then borrow the same where statement. And then we just have a look at it because select doesn't have any permanent effect on the database, but we can have a look and make sure we have the correct line. See, because if I put in where game name equals gem hunter, I would delete both records. So I don't want to go by game name. What I'm asking for is the record at ID number 18. So I've correctly used the where statement here. Right? And my select is confirming that. Now I haven't deleted anything yet. So I still have to write the um, the uh, delete statement, or at least run the delete statement. But this select statement is used uh, to confirm that we're filtering on the correct rows. Okay. Let me just pin that off. We don't need that right now. So now when I hit delete, all right, it says one row affected. And if I were to try to rerun that select there, I no longer have that record. Okay. But again, if we have a look at all of our records, the whole table, and I hit execute, you can see now that that there's only one gem hunter and the one that remains is the one with ID number 19. 